It's been decades since any medical breakthroughs have been announced in the field of melanoma. In 2011, two such drugs have been FDA approved to help late stage melanoma patients. Here to speak about those drugs tonight is our friend, Dr. Anna Pavlik, who runs the melanoma program at NYU Medical Center. Dr. Pavlik is on our scientific advisory board and has supported us with her time and expertise at the NYU symposiums and at the Long Island Educational Symposiums for Melanoma Patients. Dr. Pavlik. Wow. <laughs> Better. I have to tell you, I ran out of my office so fast because I knew the car was waiting for me that I never changed from my work shoes to my heels. So maybe that was right, but it's not right now. So I want to just thank Jack and Maggie for asking me to come and give you five minutes on each drug, I promise no more than 10 minutes, just to fill you in on some of the exciting research that I've been involved in and some of the drugs the two drugs that have made major changes in the life of melanoma patients because they were FDA approved. And so my title was, um, There is Light in the Darkness because for the first time in decades, we now have two drugs that actually change how long patients with metastatic melanoma will survive. Next slide, please. So is there a magic bullet? Well, we had, you can see, this was the cover of Time Magazine almost 10 years ago. And here it is now 10 years later, and it's not the perfect magic bullet, but it's a huge step in the right direction. Next, please. So these are the two drugs that have been recently FDA approved. The first drug is a drug called Yervoy or Ipilimumab, which was approved in March of 2011. It is an immunotherapy, so unlike chemotherapy, it doesn't provide those same nasty type of side effects that chemotherapy does. It certainly has its own set of side effects, but it, it really does the very different things. It tries to get the patient's body's immune system to really attack those tumors. And then the second is a targeted therapy called Zelbaraf or Vemurafenib. We know that now that 50% of patients with melanoma will have a mutation or an abnormality within the tumor called the BRAF mutation. If a patient has that specific mutation, we've been able to create a drug that blocks that mutation, shuts off the growth of those melanoma cells, and almost miraculously, within one to two weeks, we see patients' tumors disappearing before our eyes. Um, and as a melanoma oncologist, You know, when we used to give people chemotherapy and we used to put up their scans and they used, their tumors used to shrink by a half a centimeter, we used to do the, this is great, this is great. Well, now we see huge tumors that disappear and patients that go from being bedridden to now having quality to their life. So it, it's really been such a moving and wonderful year when it comes to melanoma therapy. So we're going to go on and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how each of these work. If I go to the next slide. So we'll talk about immunotherapy. Next slide. Sam, go through the slides fast. Um, so this is a little cartoon that kind of shows how the immune system works. That's the little cell, the blue cell on the top is your T cell. The red cell on the bottom is what we call your antigen presenting cell or a cell that shows something that doesn't belong to your T cell. Well, when your T cell sees that there's something bad or something that doesn't belong, the T cell gets turned on. And when the T cell gets turned on, your body's immune system starts fighting the melanoma. However, T cells are very smart and T cells don't like to be turned on indefinitely. So it, it sends a signal and a receptor called a CTLA-4 receptor gets expressed on the surface of the cell. Well, when that, self, when that receptor shows up on the surface, the T cell shuts down. So we now have created an antibody I think the next slide. Yep. We've created an antibody that now blocks that CTLA-4 receptor that allows the T cells to stay turned on to continue dividing and continue fighting the melanoma. Next slide. 
So there was this large study with almost 700, over 700 patients that got this drug called Yervoy and either got Yervoy by itself, Yervoy with a vaccine or a vaccine alone. Next slide. And these are the, this is the graph. Why is this an important graph? Because these are people who went on to this study who were told they have no more than three months to live. And if you look at one year, patients who got Yervoy, 50 almost 50% of them are alive. If you follow the curve out, at two years, 25% of them are alive. But the most exciting thing about this slide is look at those lines. Those lines plateau. They don't drop. They don't fall off. So what does that mean? It means that those patients who got benefit, yes, maybe it's only 25%, those patients remain in remission for a long term. So that's what's really exciting about this drug is that we have people, and I, I never tell them that they're cured because I say that's a four-letter word and I don't use that word, but they are in long, durable remissions five, seven, and almost 10 years out from first getting this drug with no evidence of melanoma. So this is very, very exciting. <laughs> Next slide. Okay. Um, because I have to show pictures, because pictures are fun. Um, if you look at the third row, you'll see there's an arrow where there's a little tumor that's on someone's chest wall, first, the first frame. The second frame, all of a sudden that tumor swells up and gets bigger. And when we were first learning about this drug, we said, oh my goodness, what are we doing? We're causing these tumors to grow. Well, when you think about what your immune system does, if you banged your finger with a hammer, what's gonna happen? Well, it's gonna swell up and get big and swollen because your immune system is going to that area. Well, guess what? That's what happens with tumors. And so the tumors will wind up getting swollen and inflamed, and then all of a sudden now you go to the third slot and the third slide, and that tumor is now gone. So we have to tell patients, don't be surprised if your tumors get worse and look worse before they actually get better, because that could be a very good thing for you. Next. These are the side effects. Um, biggest side effect is rash, itching, and diarrhea, and that's all you need to know. We all know how to manage them. Well-tolerated drug. Next. Uh, oh. oh, this is really cool. I stuck this in because this was one of the first things that we saw, and I have, I have permission from all the patients that you're going to see to show full photographs without blocking out their eyes. They signed written informed consent. I need to disclose that for HIPAA purposes. Um, we were the first at NYU to notice that patients who got Yervoy, their immune systems were so activated in fighting off melanocytes that they started to depigment their hair. As opposed to some of the other immune drugs that we have, they didn't develop vitiligo or pig white patches on their skin. They depigmented their eyebrows first. And so if you show me the next slide, this is a patient, this is the first patient that we noticed this in. And he's a big, he comes in and he busts my chops every time he sees me. So I walked in and I was like, yeah, that's really cute. What in the hell are you thinking? And he's like, what do you mean? I said, what did you do to your eyebrows? He says, Doc, I swear to God, over the last week, it just happened. Okay, so skunk tails over the eyes. I think he's busting my chops. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> His hair is now completely white. And you know what? He has no melanoma. This is a gentleman who had a three centimeter mass growing in his heart. He is disease free five years later. He's got white hair, but he's got no melanoma. And the next slide. And this, this nice lady, she also completely depigmented. Um, and she too is a complete responder. So we, we felt that there was, a, there was an association between people who were gonna live their lives disease free from melanoma when they had depigmentation of their hair. So next slide. So let's talk about targeted therapy so I don't stay up here longer. 
Um, so targeted therapy. <coughs> this is the crazy way melanoma thinks. It can find multiple, multiple pathways to try and spread to other parts of the body. We've now identified a pathway called the MAP kinase pathway where we can identify a mutation within tumors called this BRAF mutation and we can block it. So next, next slide. So this is exactly what I talked about. You block the mutation, you block the growth of tumors, you stop tumors dead in their tracks. Next, please. So I like cartoons. Cartoons show are good. Next, please. So this is when you have a BRAF mutation, you now give the drug, next, and this is what happens. You stop the growth of the tumors. So next, please. Yeah, okay, next, next, okay. This is, this is the technology. What we actually do is we can take people's tumors that are already in the pathology lab. So they've been harvested, they're in the lab, they're in wax. We can now take these tumors and extract their DNA to determine whether or not they have a mutation. So we don't have to go back and get fresh tissue from patients. As long as we've got tissue that's sitting in the lab, we can go back and get this and find out whether or not they have the mutation. And like I said in the beginning, 50% of all patients who develop metastatic melanoma will actually have this mutation. Next, please. So this was the exciting waterfall plot. Um, all the lines on the bottom are good. Those are all the people who responded to this drug. Again, very impressive because the responses that we saw, as opposed to Yervoy or immunotherapy, Immunotherapy takes six to eight weeks to start to get somebody's immune system revved up. Some patients don't have eight to 12 weeks to wait. Some people do. So you have to choose which drug you give patients based on how rapidly their tumors are growing and if in fact they have a BRAF mutation or not. So next please. This is a PET scan. What does a PET scan do? It gives us an outline of somebody's body. The first image that you see, you see all the black spots on somebody's leg? That's not good, is right. That's the melanoma. You can also see melanoma on their arms. You can see on their neck, they got a big black spot that's a lymph node full of melanoma. The second picture is on day 14. That's how quickly this drug works, is that we can not only see it in person, but we can see it radiographically. So these people are really having a dramatic response. And I didn't want to show any gross pictures, so I felt that was a good representation of what we see. Next, please. Um, this is another picture. Just because people have said to me, well, it's really nice. They have lymph node disease. They have tumors on their, on their skin. What does it do if you have tumors in your liver? And here is the picture. If you can. Okay, next. So what does this mean? It means that we've made a huge step forward in, in 2011. We've got two drugs. Now we're taking these drugs and we're combining these drugs. We're looking to make the drugs that work, work even better. And we're looking at other different targets. We're looking at other ways to harness somebody's immune system so that we can get their immune system to work even better. So this flat line doesn't just happen at 25%. We want this flat line to happen at 75 percent and that's our goal and pretty much i'm out of time so thank you